Soles of our feet together, knees out wide. Again, we're doing yin today. So if you have a bolster and a block, that's wonderful. If you don't, that's also completely fine. I'm going to start by ringing the gong. or soreness that is there. Imagine your breath gathering up all of the tension and soreness in your bodies and breathing it out so that you begin to feel peaceful and relaxed. Any distracting thoughts or feelings that you may have them to be sent out with the breath. And as you breathe, allow yourselves to go deeper and deeper into this state of calm, knowing that you are in control at all times. Connect with a personal intention for this practice. That intention could be physical, mental, or spiritual. And it could be for you or for someone you love. Seal that 
intention with one deep inhale and one deep exhale. Good job. Inhale those knees and arms to center. Exhale as you roll over onto your right side in the fetal position. Remain here for a few breaths. Then slowly use your hands to push up. Remove your block and your bolster. Handy, and then roll back over onto your backs. Draw those knees in for a hug. Rock back and forth. Massage your lower backs and your kidneys as you do. Good job. And then let's go ahead and grab our insteps. Drag your knees down towards your shoulder blades. Push up with your feet, pull down with your hands in a happy baby. Again, dragging those shoulders back and down. Maybe rocking back and forth, massaging your lower backs and your kidneys in a happy baby. <clears throat> Good job. And then place the soles of your feet on the mat. Inhale as you interlace your fingers around that left thigh. Flex your foot. Drag those shoulders back and down. And exhale as you extend that left leg. Again, flexing your foot, breathing in and out. in your practice, maybe grab on to the sole of your foot, drag your shoulders back and down. Maybe push on that left thigh with your right hand. Hold on to your left calf or your left toes, wherever you are. Again, dragging your hips down towards the mat as much as you can. Again, breathing in and out as you do.
such an auspicious year and children born in the year of the dragon are so powerful and um, I guess do wonderful things in the world. about because we definitely need to keep the weeds away and at the same time we don't want to keep our deer and our rabbits and our jack jack rabbits and all of the other wildlife away so we try to do as little as possible I pull 
pulled it. Might have been better just to hit the ground, I suppose. And it's difficult for me to get over it, even though I thought that it would be a lot easier. I walk on it funny, and so because I do, it's kind of gone to the front of my leg as well. But I've been putting heat on it, and I think it's going to be fine. It doesn't seem to affect my yoga, but I really can't hike for very long distances, and I want to get back into hiking. It's frustrating to me when Cyril takes off for Skull Peak or um, yeah, Skull Peak, and I can't do the same things with him. He's doing much better, by the way, which is good. <clears throat> and again, you can also grab onto your toes if you haven't already. Dragging those shoulders back and down as much as you can. I realize I can't uh, my leg in as much as I could before. Let's slowly inhale back to center. Extend that left leg, grab onto your foot with your left hand, allow that right hand to fall down towards the floor with gravity, palm down, and then exhale <clears throat> that right leg over as far as you can. And again, you can always use a block or a bolster underneath your leg. Breathing in and out as you drag those shoulders back and down. And smile again. It's Tuesday.
forward, slowly inhale, back to center, draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs and your kidneys, and then exhale down to the end of the mat, again, inhale those arms all the way up overhead, point your toes, stretch it out, up every muscle in your body. Again, as you
again. This is a Tibetan bowl chakra meditation. I'm going to go ahead and turn it up. Allowing that white light to rise between each chakra as you listen. From your roots, to your sacral, to your solar plexus, to your heart, to your throat, to your third eye, and all the way up to your crown chakra. Exhale down to the right. Again, place that right foot on top of your left thigh. If this is in your practice, look off to the left in windshield wipers. And again, smile. It's Tuesday. Express gratitude as we're here. Inhale both arms all the way up. Inhaling gratitude, opening up the shoulders. And exhale, releasing whatever does not serve you. Inhale. 
Inhale all the way up. Again, inhaling gratitude. And exhale down to Anjali Mudra. Inhale all the way up. Inhaling gratitude. in puppy pose. traditional balasana, or you can be in balasana with Vatikanasana knees, which is what we're in right now. Wherever you are is perfect. So much hair around my nose. torso down towards the mat. Our hearts are coming down towards the mat. Opening up as much as possible. Slowly inhale as you come back up again, walking those hands back Curl your toes under. Inhale first. Exhale back to down dog. Again, dragging your hearts towards your thighs as much as possible, flattening out your backs. Breathing in and out. Maybe walking the dog, lifting first one heel. 
and then the other dragging the other heel down towards the mat as you do opening up those calf muscles inhale that right leg all the way up three-legged dog split and exhale as you swing it to the top left of your mat right knee down left knee down left top of foot down inhale as you walk those hands back shoulders are back and down opening your hearts <clears throat> to the front of the room and exhale as you walk your hands forward again you can also be on your backs dragging your hearts down and resting pigeon again opening up that right hip releasing anything that you're storing there that you don't need into the mat into the floor into the earth below. in resting pigeon again you want to be in a twist and placing that left cheek on the floor or the mat but you can also be on your elbows you can have your right cheek on the mat wherever you are is perfect Sorry, 
If you're in a twist, again, you can also have your elbows closer to your torso. You can have that left cheek on the mat. You can be on your back. Wherever you are is perfect. to the side wall through the breath. Inhale back to center. Exhale as you release those legs. Shake them out. Place the soles of your feet on the mat. Arms are out on either side. Inhale first. Exhale inch by inch vertebra by vertebra down to the mat and when you get there draw those knees in for a much deserved hug rock back and forth massage your lower backs and your kidneys good job then place your heels just below your sit bones inhale as you push your hips up Placing your block underneath your sacrum on the highest, second, or third levels, wherever you are, is perfect. Again, breathing in and out in a supported bridge. Opening up that lower back region. Maybe walk those feet forward. If this is in your practice, possibly draw your arms overhead in a T formation or a mushroom formation. Again, if this is in your practice. <clears throat> Slowly draw those arms back overhead. Walk your feet in. Inhale as you push your hips up, releasing the block. And exhale down, drawing those knees in, giving yourselves a big hug. Good job. And then from here, take your block back in hand. <laughs> Let's inhale slightly up as we push our hips up. Place the block underneath your sacrum on the lowest level. And then draw your legs up above you in a supported leg straight up, allowing the circulation to come back down to your vital organs, back down to your brain, breathing in and out. Inhale first, then exhale as you bend those knees, placing the soles of your feet on the mat. Inhale as you push your hips up, releasing the block, and exhale 
down, draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth, massage your lower backs in your kidneys. Good job. Then exhale that right leg down. Inhale your left arm up overhead. And exhale as you push that left knee over to the right. Look over your left shoulder and and in a full body twist, releasing anything that you may not have released during practice. Again, remember to drink lots of water after practice. Inhale back to center, draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth. And then exhale that left leg down. Inhale your right arm up overhead and exhale as you push your right knee over to the left. Again, look over your right shoulder. Inhale back to center, draw those knees in for a hug, rock back and forth. Inhale through your noses, side out, inhale. One more time, inhale. And with that intention, allow your legs to come out as wide as the mat or wider. Arms are down beside your torso, palms are up to receive, down to ground, starting to relax. Relax your toes, relax your feet, relax your ankles. Relax your calves, relax your knees, relax your thighs. Relax your hips, relax your torsos, relax your fingers. Relax your hands, relax your wrists, relax your forearms. Relax your elbows, relax your upper arms, relax your shoulders. Relax your necks, relax your jaws, relax your cheeks. Relax your foreheads. Relax the crowns of your heads. Just relax. Start to bring movement back to your fingers and your toes by wiggling your toes and maybe touching each finger with your thumb. Reach your arms overhead, extend through your feet, giving yourselves a full body stretch and filling your lungs with your breath. Then exhale as you draw those knees in, drawing them yourselves a much deserved hug rocking back and forth massaging your lower backs and your kidneys slowly roll over to the right side in the fetal position and <clears throat> remain here <clears throat> for a few breaths sorry Then using the strength of your arms, come back to a seated position, facing the front of the room. Legs are crossed, hands are in Anjali Mudra, heads are bowed in honor of your practices. From the place deep in my soul that I know to be pure and true, I bow to and honor that same place that resides within each of you. Thank you so much for coming to practice yoga with me on this beautiful Tuesday. Have a wonderful rest of your day and I will see you tomorrow. Namaste.
the recording.